For those of you in a hurry, here inside the Layers panel, find your Smart Object, right mouse click on a non-thumbnail part of the layer, and choose Convert to Layers. The content of your Smart Object has now been returned to the Layers panel. For those of you not in a hurry, why don't I back up and start from the beginning? So I'm just going to delete layer one here, and we now just have a blank background layer. So here in the layers panel, down the bottom, let's add ourselves a layer. Pressing B to bring up the brush tool, let's put a dot just over here like so. And I'll just now press the V key to get me back to the move tool. So let's now make ourselves a smart object. So here inside the layers panel, layer one, don't be right mouse clicking on the thumbnail. You want to right mouse click on a non thumbnail part of the layer and choose convert to smart object. Now layer one has actually been put inside of a smart object. Its contents are no longer directly editable here in the canvas. I would actually have to open up the smart object to edit the contents of layer one. Now let's say for whatever reason, I wish to now unmake this smart object. There are many ways to do this. I'll show you two. One of them you've already seen. Again, don't be right mouse clicking on the thumbnail within the layer. Right mouse click on a non thumbnail part of the layer and choose convert to layers. Or with the layer selected here inside of the layers panel, in the properties panel, you can choose this button here, convert to layers, which I'll do just now. And here we go. Layer one has returned. The icon showing that we had a smart object that we saw a moment ago has disappeared and we could now directly edit layer one out here on our canvas. Now I'm going to undo one step just here. I've brought our smart object back. And this time before I unmake it, I'm going to actually apply a transformation to it. So we've got our smart object here. Edit, free transform. Let's shrink this thing right down and commit that transformation. So remember, we're manipulating a smart object here. So we're not actually harming the contents of that smart object. Now again, for whatever reason, we wish to unmake our smart object. Let's select it here in the layers panel, choose convert to layers. And this time we actually get ourselves a dialog box. Do you want to retain transforms applied on the smart object layer? Now I'm gonna show you both options. I'll start with yes, just here. You can see here in the layers panel, the smart object icon has disappeared. So we've got our layer back and we can see that transformation has actually been destructively applied to our contents. Let me undo one step. Here is our transformed smart object. So let's unmake that. Let's this time choose no. And you can see we now have our layer back minus the smart object and that transformation was simultaneously removed. Okay, let's step this up a notch. I'm going to create a new layer just here, bringing up my brush tool. Let's place a dot just down here, and again, pressing V to get me back to the move tool. So here in the layers panel, let's now create a smart object that is comprised of multiple layers. So layer two is already selected. Holding down my shift key, I am clicking on layer one. Both layers selected, right mouse click, convert to smart object. So let's unmake this and see what we get. So smart object selected, convert to layers, and what's going on just up here. Now we can see we've actually got a group coming in just here. If I actually open this up, ah, there we go. So we've actually got our two layers back minus the smart object, of course. So our layers have come back. The only slightly complicating factor just here is they've come back in a group. This is very easy to get rid of. Simply right mouse click on the group and choose ungroup layers. And we are now back exactly where we were a few moments ago. So let me undo a couple of steps just here. I'm getting back to the smart object, which is comprised of two layers just here. Like before, let's now apply a transformation and then unmake this thing. So the smart object is targeted. Edit, free transform. Again, let's shrink this thing right down and apply that transformation. Smart object selected, properties panel, convert to layers. And this is interesting. We are no longer given the option whether we want to keep the transformation or not. This time, we're basically being told that that transformation is going to be thrown away. So if I choose OK at this point, 
you can see here in the layers panel, within that group, our two layers have come back. But of course, notice that that transformation was removed and those layers are now back exactly as they were when we started. So that's it there guys, a summation of how to unmake your smart objects here inside of Photoshop. I hope that helps. Catch you later.